interest from bank deposit all comes under your income from other source not a professional income we go back to your problem actually we'll see what are the professional incomes these are the adjustments we have like depreciation on laptop 15000 professional expenses professional expenses less professional expenses purchase of laptop only we go for depreciation because laptop is an capital asset hello everyone this is your other sir here lecturing with us from first grade college the temple of excellence and now we are in the session 4 of your topic called income tax 1 under income tax 1 we are discussing profit and gain of business and profession under this business or profession which topic we are doing now you know that we are doing your professional topics like in case of your doctor your lawyer and your chartered accountant now in the previous session we done with the topic called medical practitioner before that in that session also your medical practitioner or doctor but in today's session we will discuss a chartered accountant if you are a chartered accountant what will be your professional income and if you are a chartered accountant what will be your professional expenses we'll go for that so this will be your agenda we have concept as well as problems in this compute professional income of chartered accountant these are the informations we have particular amount particular amount now we have opening balance of 10,000, audit fees 90,000, tax consultation 30,000, remuneration to teaching in college 12,000, gift from relatives 20,000, interest from bank deposit 5,000, rent from house property. You have to check it carefully which are professional and which are not professional. Like you have opening balance as I told you opening and closing balance is not part of your profession. Now we have audit fees yes tax consultation yes remuneration for teaching in college no unless and until they have mentioned that it is for CA coaching it is for your chartered accountant classes as a guest faculty you are going then we have to consider the teaching income but they have directly given the remuneration for teaching in college is not part of your profession then gift from relatives no interest from bank deposit all comes under your income from other source not part of your profession rent from house property also will not come hope you are clear yes i'll go for this we have only two one is audit fees another one is tax consultation fees so this will be professional income under professional income we go back to your problem actually we'll see what are the professional incomes like we have only two one will be audit fees another one will be tax consultation fees so first one audit fees next one tax consultation fees one is audit fees and the second one is tax consultation fees what is your audit fees and what is your tax consultation fees i'll go back to that your audit fees is 90000 tax consultation 30000 audit fees 90000 and tax consultation we have 30000 hope you are clear good now once if it is done we'll go for your incomes are done now we have to go for expenditure before that i'll close it 90 plus 30,000, you got 1,20,000. 
90,000 plus 30, it will be 1 lakh 20. Now, this is done. Now, your professional expenditure. What are your professional expenditure like? You have salary to stop. Yes, it is your professional. Office rent. Yes. Purchase of laptop only we go for depreciation because laptop is an capital asset. Laptop is a capital asset. For any capital asset, we don't go for the value. We go for depreciation. Now, your purchase of laptop will go only for depreciation. Now, purchase of professional books. It is expensive. Normally what happens? Your professional books will come for 100% depreciation. So, if it is 10,000, no, normally it will come 10,000 as depreciation. We'll see adjustment later. Now, municipal tax, always you know that municipal tax paid for what? House purpose, not part of your business. Next, advanced IT. Advanced IT also what? Your personal. We will not consider periodicals periodicals in case of your newspaper like periodicals means what you are a chartered accountant you have a ca office now clients will come to your office when they come they need some magazines they need some newspapers all this we call it as periodicals now your periodicals we call it as your professional expenses now we have to consider telephone. It is a part of your profession. You are supposed to pay telephone expenses to run your office. Then, membership fees. So, if you want to become a chartered accountant, if you want to be in the same profession, every year you are supposed to pay your membership fees. That membership fees, we call it as your professional expenditure. Next. Life insurance premium. Life insurance premium is your personal expenditure. We will not consider your life insurance premium. General expenditure, part of your business and closing balance is not part of your business. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, these are the adjustments we have like depreciation on laptop, 15,000. How much depreciation we have? 15,000 on laptop we have and books we have 10,000 take 15,000 take 10,000 as depreciation then general expenses include 5,000 paid for sun college fees while writing general expenditure general expenditure is a part of your professional expenditure from that we are supposed to remove 5,000 hope you are clear yes now I'll go to your answer. Up to income we have done, we are supposed to do expenditure. Minus less professional expenses. Professional expenses. Less professional expenses. Which are those professional expenses? I'll go one by one. In this, you have salary to staff 38,500. Salary to stop, salary to stop 38,500. Next, we have office rent 15,000. Office rent, office rent is 15,000. And we have Purchase of laptop. Laptop, what we should do? Only depreciation. What is the depreciation? 15,000. Depreciation on laptop. Depreciation on laptop. It is 15,000. After this, what is the next one? Purchase of professional. Again, depreciation on professional books. It is how much? 10,000. professional books it is 10,000 next after this municipal tax is a personal advanced IT 
personal periodicals ya professional so how much it is 1000 periodicals so we take it 1000 i'll go to next slide so that we'll do continuation periodical so over members telephone expenditure 10000 membership fees 10000 i'll go for that telephone expenses telephone expenses 10000 membership fees it is 10000 we got telephone expense also we got membership also clear good now your telephone expenditure is over membership also over what is the next one what is the next one the next one is after telephone and membership we have life insurance it is a personal we will not consider general expenses it is 15000 we should take general expenses general expenses it is 15000 over after this we have general expenditure it is not 15 actually we have adjustment general expenses include 5000 paid for sons college tuition fees college in the sense it is again personal 5000 we have to remove so we have to remove 5000 from this your general expenses 15000 minus 5000 you will get 10000 up to this any doubt no doubt yes so we done with all this to sons college tuition fees is over next after that you have balance carried on we will not take hope you are clear yes now now the thing is you have to add 90 plus 30 we got 1 lakh 20 and we have to go for all the expenses 38 500 plus 15000 plus 15000 plus 10000 plus 1000 how much we got 79500 I'll go to the next slide. Still, we have ten thousand plus ten thousand plus ten thousand. I got one lakh nine thousand five hundred. One lakh nine thousand five hundred. I'll cross check all the expenses once again. So thirty eight five hundred plus fifteen thousand plus plus. we have another 15000 plus we have 10000 and we have 1000 and we have 10000 10000 and 10000 i got 109500 what is your income in this if you check your income it is 120000 what is your expenditure from income you are supposed to minus expenditure 1 lakh 20000 minus 1 lakh 9500 i got income of 10500 how much 10500 see these are your question from this i have taken from this i have taken and finally i got answer of 10500 now I'll go back to all these slides. Before that, what is this ten thousand five hundred professional income or income from profession? Clear? Yes, you got ten thousand five hundred as answer. Now I'll go back to all these slides. Please take screenshot. so this is the agenda for the day we have professional income we have adjustments for this we have your answer we have continuation of your answer yes this is all about your today's session 
we understood what is the professional income of chartered accountant. So easiest one, easily you can learn as well as, so whatever calculation we have done, please work out once again at your home. Thank you.